And welcome back to the Angry Teacher Educator Academy. This is Richard Williams, the Angry Teacher, and today we're going to give you some virtual classroom rules that you can live by and teach your kids to do it too. Hang around, we're going to learn today. We're there at the end of last year, the end of the academic um, year 2020, we were thrown into the virtual environment. And now we're starting, most schools I think are starting virtually or at least a hybrid model. At some point there will be the virtual co co um, component of their, of their school. So I'm just gonna throw out these rules that I plan to use, which starts on Monday, I'm nervous as crap, but we're gonna get through it, right? Um, and we're going to just talk about some rules here today all right so number one for the students as well as the teacher find a nice quiet space um, make sure that you have no encumbering um, situation no kids climbing on your lap or pets climbing on your lap or your pencils are all over the place organize the space that you have make sure it's as quiet as it can be now um, some people recommend getting headphones if you need to that's fine but make sure the space is quiet enough for you to hear what's going on, hear each other, and understand what the um, instructions and what you have to do are, okay? As per usual, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for the next Anger Teacher video. It'll be, you guessed it, guys, dope. Number two, and it kind of works with number one, which is basically, being prepared, getting your, your, your materials ready. Guys, if you need to use pens and paper, keep them in one area. Now, a lot of us, we are going to have a desk space. If you don't, that's fine. Keep them all together anyway. If you have a book bag, keep your pencils, your pens, your erasers, your rulers, whatever you need for the different classes. If you know you're having math and, and, and um, something that requires different instruments that day, Keep them close. Prep from the night before. Have your computer um, charged up if you're, you plan to move from one place to the next. Or make sure that you've gone to bed early so you prepare for your quiet space for your lesson. Number three, be respectful. Now, you are going to be at home. Your parents, mom and dad, may allow you to get away with some stuff. You've been with them since April or, or what is it, March for some people? and they don't care if you do certain things but you're going to be um taking a peek into other kids and your teacher's life their their houses and their homes so be respectful watch what you say watch how you say it watch um what you wear some things are inappropriate and that's why some schools like mine um in my district where um, most kids are being told to wear their uniform, at least the uniform shirt. So there's some form of normalcy and there's some form of respect going on in that space. Um, whenever you enter the room, make sure you mute yourself because if you're screaming at your little brother to leave you alone while you're entering the classroom, it disturbs what's already going on, especially if you're late. Be attentive. Don't be on your phone on the side or on another um, website when you're supposed to be paying attention in class. Don't be looking at the TV in the background or in the foreground. Don't um, be in a chat room while you're supposed to be in class paying attention because to continuously ask the teacher to repeat something or ask the student to repeat what they said, it becomes monotonous, especially because we know in the virtual realm, there's a lag, so it slows everything down and you don't have that much time. Trust me guys, the, the time you spend online in those virtual classes, it flies by. So we don't wanna encumber it with a whole lot of distractions. Ask about getting off. What I mean by that, if you're going to the you need to go to the restroom or you need to get something done you need to ask permission first you're still in class because once you leave that space whatever is said you won't re you won't be able to hear it so ask for permission to go and you the teacher can't have all 20 of you going to the restroom at the same time because you're at home all right so just be respectful of the space you are still in class 
make sure you log on at least between five to ten minutes earlier so that you know you can warm your, your computer can all wake up itself you know you can war warm up and you can get used to your space you can be um, figure out if you're in reach for your pencil um, do you have everything you need do you have to run back and pick something up is everything okay so that's like your spot checking and making sure everything is right make sure your your lighting is correct so the teacher can see your face all these things you need to do at least five minutes before you log in before you go to the next class once the class because i think especially in my district we have like a i think a five to eight minute passing time if you will basically for you to get out of one class session and log into the next one so make sure you guys are on time it's really it like in person if we're getting into a lesson and then somebody opens the door somebody walks in it throws everybody off so get there when you need to all right now this is a big deal if we were in person in my class I don't allow eating I do allow some form of drinking because we're in South Florida and it's really hot so I allow kids to drink their water and whatever else they drink they just have to be careful with it now the virtual world you're at home mm, I don't think your teacher cares what you eat or drink However, we do care what you eat and drink in the room because if you have this sloppy joe sandwich or this burger and it's dripping grease, everybody's going to be looking at your burger instead of at the teacher's instruction. One. Two, if anything falls on your, your laptop or your computer, that's on you. You'll be the one messing up. You'll be the one not getting the information you need from that teacher because the your um, iced mocha spilled all over the... Um, laptop all right so um, I would say find out from your teacher if they're allowing you to eat eat because you're at home with that said be careful if they say yes you can eat in my class because you don't want to mess up your laptop you, you know you can use it for more than school after that class when you messed up and things are sparking and and it's greasy and it's a hot mess you still want to get an Instagram or Facebook right so those are my five virtual classroom rules that I think will be great for you to pay attention to. All right, guys, go out there and be great. Have a good academic year.